Welcome to the homework for lesson 15. This is module 7 of third grade. Name first, please. And Miguel glues a border, a ribbon border around the edges of a 5 by 8 inch picture to create a frame. What's the total length of ribbon Miguel uses? So this is the distance around the outside of a 5 by 8 rectangle. So draw the picture, it's reading it, drawing it, and writing it. We read it, summarized it. Now we're drawing. Have to draw a picture. And then the total length of ribbon, 5 plus 5, here's our equation, plus 8 plus 8 equals, and that's 10 plus 16, which is 26. Miguel uses 26 inches of ribbon. A building at Elmira College has a room shaped like a regular octagon. The length of each side of the room is 5 feet. What's the perimeter of this room? So we need something that looks as much as we can draw it, like a regular octagon. And I suggest making it a larger drawing so you have room to write in all the labels. Oops, that's not exactly regular. Well, the picture doesn't have to be perfect, but... It should so let's see five feet 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 and that's just um that's another way to write that you've seen Maybe you've seen inches like an abbreviation where five inches would look like that and five feet would look like that. That's feet. Or you could write FT instead of making that mark. But make sure it doesn't look like a 51 when you write it because that won't make any sense. If you rush it, then that's what it'll end up looking like. Uh, okay, so what's the perimeter of this room? It's eight fives, right? So it's five plus five plus five plus five plus five plus five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight. That's 40. The room's perimeter. is 40 feet. Manny fences in a rectangular area for his dog to play in the backyard. The area measures 35 yards by 45 yards. What is the total length of fence that Manny uses? So the length of a fence is always, it's almost always a perimeter problem. So we need to Draw the rec it's a rectangular area, so we're going to draw a rectangle. And it's 35, that's going to be the short end, is 35 yards. 35 yards. And the long sides are 45. So... 35 plus 45 plus 35 plus 45 equals the perimeter. And we can see that if we take the 35s and the 45s, that's going to add up to 80. Right, because that's 3 plus 7, that's set, 3 plus 4 is 7 10s, and then these two 5s are going to make another 10 for 80. That's just my mental process right here, so that I'm showing it by making these number bonds. 160. And 
and he uses 160 yards of fence. Tyler uses six craft sticks to make a hexagon. So the craft sticks are all going to be the same length. So each one is six inches long. Uh, if you can just imagine it, what is the perimeter of Tyler's hexagon? So you could do this and actually draw, if you wanted to actually draw the craft sticks instead of a hexagon, you could just have a little more fun with it. Just try and get it so that they look like they're about the same length. And then label them. And like I did, like I said before, inches could be this long. It looks like a quotation mark, doesn't it? That's just another way to abbreviate inches. And so it's six sixes. P. Tyler's hexagon has a perimeter of 36 inches. Frances made a rectangular path from her driveway to the porch. The width of the path is two feet. The length, so it's a rectangular path. And the width is 2 feet and the length is 28 feet longer than the width. So that's important. You might just see the, these numbers in the text and think, okay, I have a rectangle that's 2 by 28. And you don't even have to read the words and just draw the picture and get, and get to it. But this is one of those where you have to think about it. It makes it a multi-step problem a little bit, but it's an easy mental step to make. So here we need a rectangular path and the width is 2 feet and then 28 plus 2 because it's 28 feet more than the 2 feet is 30 feet what is the perimeter of the path so we have Two thirties plus two twos is the perimeter sixty four Is 64 feet so if, if I'm like going too fast and I maybe I should have said this earlier but if I'm going too fast just pause it it's a video pause it and, uh, and and come back to it catch up or go back over a part if I went too fast and and I got ahead then just go back and watch it again I'll never know you had to watch it twice um, or sometimes more the gym teacher uses tape to mark a Oh, plus it will um, it will make make the stats for my YouTube channel look better too. So please do that. The gym teacher uses tape to mark a four square court on the gym floor as shown. A four square court. Oh, four. It's a four square. Okay, they're playing four square. Um, the and this is part of reading, right? You got to figure out like what's a, okay. So it's a four. They're playing four square. The outer square has side lengths of 16 feet as it's labeled what is the total length of tape the teacher uses to mark square a so let's say that maybe a is the server's square so if these are all 16 feet sides this looks like this line goes right through the the squares are equal inside right 
they have to be. So that means that this side here is equal to that side there. So that's two equal parts, they're halves. So half of 16 is 8. So that means each side of every square is 8 feet. So for square A, that means each side of square A, since it's a square, is also 8 feet. So then I'll just write 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8. And 4 eighths is 32. The teacher uses 32 feet to mark square A. Now if you're thinking about um, a nice uh, extension question for this, I can't help but mentioning it, but is that how much tape would the teacher need to use to mark the entire court? Uh, because some of the square, some of the, um, the inside lines you you only need to mark once, so it wouldn't necessarily be 432s. So it's something you could think about.